We are fresh off of episode eight. This is the first time I lack the self-control of just stepping away and going to bed. So <laughs> that's why it's the, we have the same setup, the same color of lights. If you haven't noticed by now, every single video has a different light color. Man, episode eight. Ugh. Well, Echo's alive. We know that now. We also know that Powder's alive. But that was a, that was a given. There was no way that that they were gonna kill Powder like that. However, now I think she's more dangerous than ever, <laughs> which is a bad thing, you know. Now there is no, if anything, there's no stopping whatever's to come. You know, right now Vi is busy with Jace. I have no idea if she's even going to get back to Caitlyn in time, or even or even if she plans on going back to Caitlyn's home. However, guess who's at Kaylin's home with Kaylin? Powder, aka Jinx right now. I'm just gonna call her Jinx because right now I don't think there's a shred of powder in that house with Kaylin. <laughs> right now it's all Jinx, all fueled with Jinx and rage. So I'm excited right now. I have no idea how this show is going to end. I don't like the feeling of catching up. Ooh, I just clicked forward. Let's not do that. I don't like catching up to stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm in the same boat as everyone else after this, but um, I'm ready. Oh, last thing, Victor. I called it, I knew there's a price. There's always a price when you do something that you're not completely prepared for. And this was it. He lost Sky, the only woman that showed our love to Victor. Even with all of his issues, she still loved him. And the sad part is, she was she was prepared to actually go out of her way to be with him. She's met with him being absorbed <laughs> by the hex core and that one that was terrifying in itself just because of the fact that it wasn't letting go of Victor. It wasn't. And leading up to that, he got the taste of being able to walk on his own two feet and he wanted more. Honestly, I would you know, it feels terrible to say that he got that he got greedy when it's not something that he had in the first place. This is a a brand new sensation for him, you know, walking on his own two feet without a cane. You know, I I can only imagine how amazing that felt, but at what cost? And that begs the question of when is enough enough? Clearly, you know, there was a limit and there was a line that he had to draw before he reached you know more than enough however he didn't know where that line was and that cost him the life of sky so wow you know that was insanely sad i feel it, i feel so bad for her because she you know she was just collateral damage she never that was never meant to happen and i know he doesn't want that he didn't want that to happen and even so it happened anyway so i I'm in love with this show and I'm terrified to know how it ends and I'm terrified to know that that it does end here until obviously season two. But anyways, let's jump into it. Patreon, we're getting started in three, two, one. I hate to say it, but it could have been much worse. There were a lot more children there that he could have hurt. You didn't have a choice. Yeah. He doesn't make it easier. We're done here. We haven't even scratched the surface. Yeah. So who's still out there? You've always been a part of this. Yeah. You've never had to look it in the eye. Once exactly. Did, there's hundreds more where he came from. Thanks to Silco and thanks to people like you. This is a wake up call for you. You need to hear this. This is over. Not for me. I'm keeping him going. Take those off. <laughs> She's not going. Yeah. Uh oh. We're doing this, huh? We're asking. To, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, he wouldn't have won that fight. Let's be real. Let's see, who could she bring? The firelights. This gives her reason to go back to Caitlyn. You know, hopefully get there in time. Who else is on her side, though? Man, here we go, y'all. I mean, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm gonna. 
<laughs> I hate season finales, man, because you have no way, there's no way to know which way th this is going to end, right? This can end on a high note or this can end on the lowest of lows, you know? This has been a ride and I am so glad I took it, man. I'm just going to enjoy the opening. I don't have anything else to say, y'all. She destroyed it and dipped. Oh, that was your son? Just like she's been taking care of everything else. At least we have the solace of knowing he died fighting for all. Oh man, she's not gonna like that. Petty personal dispute. You're one to talk about sacrificing for the cause. Uh oh, don't do Where is Jason now? He doesn't know. Uh oh, now she's now he's like, I told you so. Guilt, man. I knew it's gonna eat you alive. His body is still broken down. Like this is. Ugh. What I'm curious about, though, is if 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 this stopped his um process of death. I couldn't forgive myself if I didn't try. Oh no. You gonna try to destroy it? Even if he does try to destroy it, I don't think he's gonna let him. I think now it's. Wait, let's see. Hold on. I think it's too late. Oh, it's a bad idea, Victor. I don't like this. Oh, he can't do it. Oh, no. Is he going to start controlling him or something? She ain't leaving. <laughs> she said, I'm here to stay. Would you like Stand up to her mother, okay. You're in trouble, Mel. The man who killed your brother doesn't believe the score is settled. If there is a chance Hextech can be weaponized, we must have it. I can't believe you start a war just to cover your ass. I would set the world ablaze to protect our family. Now it's family when you took her away? Are you kidding? Yeah, exactly. Now you need her help. Why, Why did you do it? Because you weakened me. I couldn't endure the look in your eyes whenever I made the decisions, the necessary decisions to keep us safe. Man. Let the war unfold. Oh no. Oh, everything's cr everything is crashing down right now, man. I'm sorry. Oh. I was, I mean, honestly, I was hoping that there was some benefit out of doing what he did, but he's still dying anyways. Don't do it. Am I interrupting? <sighs> wow. That call back to when he was going to commit suicide back in episode two. Am I interrupting? You have to destroy it. I know. Are you going to tell her about Sky? What about your disease without the hex code? <coughs> Decide it's not it's okay. not worth it. <sighs> and that's a hard decision. I mean I don't blame him for trying to save himself, I'm but we're gonna overthrow him. Yeah. The attitude, the instinct, the eye, the whole package you were. <laughs> you with him, are you? You screwed up, so go. I wonder if he planned for this. Young to remember what the undercity was before it became an enterprise. Just too smart. He he has something up his sleeve. Oh. Now I'm forced to share the air with parasites like you, but I still believe in loyalty. <gasps> oh. Okay, you fool me. I, I I admit I was wrong. <laughs> we all wrong. You were right, show. <laughs> son killed for this. Though I suppose we're ahead on that account. Get out. Man. Okay. Man. All right, he's at the hex tech now. Let's see what he's got in store for them. Oh, he he's going he's going straight to Jace. Okay. 
Is he gonna reckon? No, I, I don't think he's ever seen Silco before, right? Negotiating. Free trade rules. Blanket amnesty. Unrestricted Negotiating. access to the Hexgate sovereignty. <laughs> I'll give you credit for your stunt, boy. Didn't think you had the stomach. You're afraid. I am afraid. Your people wouldn't stand a chance. Ooh. You don't care less. I'm trying to save you from annihilation. I think he believes this too. This isn't just a bluff. Pledge, are you? You'll discontinue the production of Shimmer. Half there already. Return the gemstone, and I need Jinx. She has oh. to pay for what she's done. No. They weren't her crimes. She was working for me. If I had it my way, it'd be you rotting in still water. We both have our shitty parts to play. This is bad for two people. It's gonna be bad for Silco. It's gonna be bad for Vi. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess technically it's gonna be bad for Jace if he takes Jinx from Vi. So this is gonna end badly <laughs> either way. Oh, he, he looks terrible. But again, it could have been much, much, much worse. You say all this came about in your own brief lifespan? <laughs> I'm surprised what you can pull off when your life depends on it. Ooh. But why this form? Dude, they don't have the resources for all that. This isn't above ground. It's the Undercity. Wow, man. It's not enough to give people what they need to survive. You have to give them what they need to live. Yeah. I love this. Everything about this. I still haven't seen Jinx yet. Imagine this moment. All we ever wanted. The boy didn't even haggle. Oh, it all makes sense now, brother. Is there anything so undoing as a daughter? <gasps> oh. Oh God. This is gonna. I'm so scared. <laughs> Ooh. Soundtrack time? Give me that soundtrack. I'm ready for it. Oh, <gasps> oh, she said, I got the fire. Come on. Oh, she ready, ready. Everyone out. Oh, round, round two. Round two. All right, she ready. You can have your little robot arm if you want to. I got my garlands now. I'm healed. I don't have to ask you any questions about my sister. It's just me and you in here. Come on. Whoop that bitch ass. Do not, yes. Whoop that hoe ass. My Mississippi coming out. Let me calm down. I'm classy now. Ooh. Ooh. Let me get a drink real quick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa! Get them reflexes, Vi. Yes. Oh no, I did not know she could do that. Be careful, careful, careful. That didn't hit her arm though, right? It was just a gauntlet. Come on. We know, we know. Get up. Your guard needs work. I wish I could say it gets easier, kiddo. <sighs> but I'd be lying. I ain't about to get emotional right now. Mm. So what do you say? Got it. Yeah, you gotta get back up. We get you. You got this. That's my girl. We got a lot more stuff to do. Ooh! Give these animators a raise. Ooh! 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 That's how we motherfucking do it, Vi. That's how we fucking do it. Y'all, I got, I got goosebumps. I can't. Yeah, let it out. Yeah. Bravo, sis. <sighs> I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm not fit to govern the people who live there. Neither are you. They're right not to trust us. You're walking a fine line, Jinx. Bold choices. With respect, I don't give a shit what any of you think of me anymore. Yes. Tell him. Fuck. You were 
right. Oh. You were always right. I'm I love you. them. My partner and a Zonite <clears throat> with one final proposal. Jace has brokered a peace with Silco in exchange for the Undercity's independence. Oh. He's ready for it. I know this ain't easy. Jace knew it wasn't going to be easy, but this does conflict with um, Madarda's now, like Madarda's family now. Oh, man. I don't want to see this. Really thought I buried this place. Powder? Back where. Never stays dead. Back where everything went wrong. Want to know a secret? Silco thinks he made Jace. You did. Oh boy, yeah. I never meant to leave you. You never left. I Not in her head. You. Yeah. Shadows in the streets. Yeah, you and everyone else. Voice pushing me. I spent so many nights in that shitty prison. God, yeah. Why am I tearing up right now? Out of all places, like. <laughs> Are we still sisters? Nothing is ever going to change that. <sighs> oh man. Yeah, Silco. He took everything from us. Right here he stabbed Vander in the back. There's a crow. All the time saying you abandoned me when he knew the truth. We're missing someone. Oh no, she asked Caitlin. We haven't seen Caitlin yet. Please. I paid your girlfriend a visit this morning. I made her a snack. No! Sheesh. I'm not that crazy. Oh my god. Y'all got to playing with me. <laughs> this show gets me. <laughs> Makes me panic. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> God, she's a good antagonist when she Where wants to be. Your choice, Billy. It could go away. Please. And you can have powder back. I can't. No! She'll do it. Oh, my Lord. Where would we go? Anywhere. No, 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 she's not saying that. We'll put this behind us. You'll never have to see him again, Powder. Her name is Jinx. You'll be with her a day before she realizes you aren't that girl anymore and turns her back on you. I'm not lying. I'm on your side. I promise. God, desperation all around. Shut Literally. Up. Oh. Independence. A seat at the table. Don't move, Caitlin, please. Just... It's only us. You're my daughter. No, mm, Caitlin. <sighs> I'm frustrated as fuck. She probably don't know. She probably don't even know how to use it. And that's powders anyway. Probably like has like a special safety on it. Oh, she does it. Okay, never mind. I'm so stressed out. Vi, she's too far gone. <laughs> I don't. Tr I'm panicking. There's something. She, she's up to something. She has. <sighs> you see. Who you are, I know. You remember. Oh my God. <laughs> Wake up, girl. You got to. This is. There's no coming back from this. Did she shoot Silco? Which way is she facing? Left? Th that's. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I was about to cry. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, I was about to panic. I'm, I'm not going. 
don't apologize. Do not apologize to that fucking man. I never would have given you to them. Why am I sad for Suko? Don't cry. <sighs> You're perfect. I ain't gonna feel bad for this man. I can't. I won't. Ugh. I genu I do believe. Yes, I do believe he cared for Powder, but I don't think he had the, her best interests at heart at all. Talk right now, Vine. I don't. Be okay. I thought maybe you could love me like you used to, even though. I gotta come back. That's it. Different. But you changed too. Everybody so, changed. Here's to the new us. <clears throat> Is she going to just blow them all up? Okay, no, never mind. She, she's just leaving? Whoa. What is she... She's gonna blow up the council hall thing. Don't kill all those. Wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Let me wait before I. <laughs> you met. Wow. Fuck. Ooh, messed up her painting. She's shooting the moon. What's going on now? I fucking thought she was about to blow up the the council hall or something. Wait, are they like? Oh no! Oh no! Fuck! I don't want to watch The Witch right now. I've already watched The Witcher. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, uh. Hmm. I don't know what to say. Okay. <sighs> it's always so weird coming to the end of a of a series of a well in this case a season the series isn't over yet but like when you do that's when you realize like that's when you really realize just how good something is but i want to talk about the ending really quick so first off yes i am glad that caitlin's still alive i am glad that vi is still alive i am glad that powder is still alive but i think now <laughs> There's, they finally found, well, first off, they finally found peace in the Undercity. <laughs> they finally reached a, an agreement point of finally getting their independence, right? Finally being seen to the point where they aren't being controlled anymore by the council and by Silco and all this other stuff. And the fact that actually, you know what I just realized? Caitlyn's parents just died. Uh, oh my god. My daughter just died. Jace just died. Oh my god. Victor just died. Like, unless, you know, at, at the last moment that fucking missile's gonna zip up, you know, and miss it. But I I don't think this is that kind of show. I don't think this is going, it's going to be that simple or that easy or the plot armor is that strong. I feel like, you know, you especially with this show you lose people we, we learned that in in episode three and i have no idea i don't even know if i i can't predict i can't even begin to predict season two i can't even think about exactly what happens after this you know i mean like how much does this actually change you know as far as council negotiations go 
and especially with the Undercity, yes. Does this change anything for the Undercity? Or will they see this more as an opportunity now? Now that all the council members are dead, well, minus um, Heimerdinger, even though, you know, he's no longer a council member. Actually, maybe this will be Heimerdinger's, um, you know, way to create a new council. Because again, we do know that he's a founding council member. But, um, you know, this, I feel like this is bigger than him now. I feel like this is bigger th than a lot of people. <laughs> like... I can't, I, I'm trying so hard to figure out exactly what angle they, you know, they plan on taking season two. I, I have no idea what this changes now. From a power structure, we have zero idea exactly what is at play anymore. We have no idea how this is going to affect the general population. We have no idea how this is going to affect Hextech, you know? Or how this is going to affect um, Caitlyn. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking about Caitlyn right now just because of the fact that she was on both sides equally, I feel like. Her not being from the Undercity, yes, yeah, she had her problem with her, her problems with her parents, but well, primarily her mother. I don't think she really had a... I only think she had a big issue with her father, but with the knowledge that Powder was the one who ended her family's lives and many people that she might deem innocent all the people's lives is gone now and yeah i feel like now this is going to be a very conflicting time for caitlin especially well caitlin in particular just because of the fact that whose side is she going to take now i obviously she's never she never was on the side of powder she was on the side of vi you know her hesitation is due to vi if Vi wasn't there, I believe, yes, she would have attempted to kill Powder sooner. Or she would have just completely just pulled the trigger and ended it there. You know, season done. You know, that kind of thing. But I don't think the level of empathy that Caitlyn has, I don't think she has enough to even begin to forgive Powder. And obviously, there's that, that's going to put space between her and Vi. And I... <laughs> there's a lot of um things up in the air right now and, and i like that you know no season should have a clear-cut conclusion if you are expecting a season two then there needs to be room for conflict there needs to be room for i call i call this a developmental piece where a character is met at a crossroads between what can i forgive and what can't i forgive you know and or to bluntly put it, do I, you know, what's the point where hate is an option, you know, instead of forgiveness or love or whatever you want or peace. But, um, yeah, this was, this was such a good series. I'm so glad I did this. I don't know what I want to do now. <laughs> you know, you, you know, when you find such a good show and it just, and you're, you're stuck waiting. You're stuck in silence and you have no idea when it's coming back. That's how I feel right now. That's how I feel with Game of Thrones, even though it ended not the way I wanted. You know, there is still that piece in my mind that that's telling me, you know, like now that, you know, this time in my life is over with, even though, yes, it's just fiction. Still, it's just a show. What do I do now? <laughs> I think about this show so much and I hate that I'm done with it. This show was they showed out. They really showed out. And I'm so glad that I gave this show a chance. I am honored, <laughs> you know, that this show is out while I'm alive. <laughs> you know, I love, I love TV. That's something that if you stick around or if you've watched my past videos, that's something that you are going to learn about me very fast. I love television i love fiction i love going into, into a world that's not my own and living in it getting to know the characters getting to know everything about everyone feel what they feel cry when they cry get mad when they get mad you know i love i love being a part of something bigger than the world that i'm in i know that probably sounds cheesy but it's true but um yeah this was an amazing show i'm so glad i was able to watch it and <sighs> i'm sorry i look like i'm from i just came back from the squid games by the way I, 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 
I wasn't thinking when I wore this, the jumpsuit. <laughs> I was going to go to the gym after this, but, you know, I did, I just did a two episode, episode or, and it's midnight now. I might still go, actually. It's 24-7 gym, so, hey. Yeah, guys, uh, th thank you for, you know, sticking with me on this crazy journey of, this is my first reaction series ever, and I was terrified, but, um, you know, you never know how people are going to like you, and... That, that makes me nervous, you know, when you when your face is out there and you can't just edit things around to make you sound smart <laughs> or to make you sound or, you know, there's no script that I can read for this. And, you know, so people see what you see is what you get. It's that kind of thing. So, you know, thanks for sticking around and thanks for your support and thanks for your kind words. I've read all the comments and thank you, by the way, for not spoiling this series for me. You know, I'm watching this months out of its um, original airtime and I am so glad that I was not spoiled. I wasn't spoiled one time throughout this whole series. I wasn't spoiled once and I was just like, we, that's rare. I know I, this, that has to be rare, right? <laughs> yeah, guys, thank you so much for sticking with me, especially throughout this entire series. I, I know I'm, 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 I'm an emotional wreck sometimes and <laughs> I'm glad you didn't make fun of me too hard about it. And you know, that's, it, you know, it, it, it makes me want to do this more and maybe I'll, I'll consider it because like right now, um, with the Patreon, this was originally supposed to be just like a little Patreon thing. And episode one was supposed to be a teaser and you would never have seen my face again. <laughs> <laughs> um, on YouTube anyways, Patreon was going to be that, um, that line I drew my face at because, you know, I, I don't have, I don't, I, I don't think I have like self-confidence issues or anything like that. It's just the less things people know about you or see about you, the less they can either make fun of you or whatever they want to do with you. So, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. It's happened now. You guys have seen my face in now nine videos. So congrats. Well, um, yeah, this does open avenues on what I can and want to provide you guys. So I'm excited, but we'll save that for another video because now I have to figure out what to watch next. And if I want to do another reaction for YouTube, at least for Patreon, of course, I'm going to keep doing reactions because... I want to connect somehow, you know, but, um, yeah, I don't know what the future holds yet. I'll let you guys decide, but thanks for taking the journey with me. I'm going to end the video cause it's, it's getting late, but you guys have a great rest of your day slash night and I will see you when I see you. Subscribe.